film was longer than I slept. <laughs> Four hours isn't a very long sleep. That's like half the night. That's like you've just entered into nap, out of nap territory. You know, you've technically entered. this is four hours, one minute, and twenty three seconds. So it's you over half the night. Yet. Yeah. How Kinda do you get a whim to stay on that hook? Explain to me. You impale it. I don't know. It's you pretty cut, thin. You, you cut your shot away, but if, if you roll it up and like you Game of Thrones hit it at it. a couple different points, that's that's ridiculous. And right this before film before the worm gets it. it have you never fucking gone fishing? Have you, you can't- did you see how fucking thin that worm was? That's perspective, plus again, you can impale it in two different and places. I actually want to bolster what Rags just said. They put it under the frame deliberately, because that shit was never gonna work. They fucking lied to us. It's the biggest problem with this entire series of movies. Look at that terrible CGI fit. That actually looks better than most things. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. <laughs> God, imagine being the ring. You were just like, Finally! Well, if you're obsessed with Lord of the Rings, what if, like, a dog put the ring on? Would it make it go invisible? I mean, the ring would kind of not have anything to do with it. Well, I mean, yeah. How would it, wait, well, first off, how would the dog put a ring on? Uh, as we saw the with a seal door, the ring will change according to the, the thing that's holding it, so... The dogs don't have fingers. Exactly! It would change to accord with the thing that was holding it, so it would yeah, change to yeah, a big bang. Yeah, they have bangle. toes. Yeah, they have toes. Yep. I don't think the ring would go out of its way to change for a dog. Wow, <laughs> what is this? Why, 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 wow. wow! Jesus Christ! Jesus, okay. Whoa. Wow, he didn't even... He was wow. so casual about that. Right here. Well, I'm sorry, there's just like... If it was a wolf, it would do it, wouldn't it? Well, fucking, that's just racist. And see, there was me thinking it was hobbits that had resilience to the ring, but apparently not. These two are just... Fighting immediately. They're not real hobbits, they're proto-hobbits. Oh no. I like the idea that fucking for the first time ever Andy Serkis was like, I only have to spend like an hour in makeup this time. <laughs> I wonder if there was like any makeup or whatever they had to put on his face at least for all the green screen suit things. Well, from the clips I've sure seen, it's literally just like a little onesie, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know how it all works out. These days they have all the... The dots and shit over people usually, I think. And it's usually in a warehouse. <laughs> yeah. And then you get to see those funny videos of Benedict Cumberbund doing uh, smile. <laughs> Running around <laughs> and pretending to be a dragon. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's about. Like, <laughs> because don't you just, like, get, I, I guess it... I don't know why they needed to CGI him when he's not really a dragon. It's but... all CGI right here. Like, all this, all this is CGI. That ring CGI, I know that. Yeah, it looks so real. The dirt on the hands, look at it. He had a mustache and they had to CGI it out for the shot. <laughs> Imagine if he replaced Henry Cavill in Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the idea. They're like, oh, we need you back for reshoots, Henry. Can you just, uh, can you just pop in? He's like, yeah, no problem. And then he comes in. They're like, whoa, what's with the mustache? <laughs> He's like, what? Can you imagine the two studios arguing about that? Like, can you I mean, just please let us shave it? Well, like, even Red Letter Media were just like, that's so dumb, why not just put on a mustache instead of CGIing it out? And I was just sitting there like, why would you assume that if they're completely separate companies, and if you had him on contract, he, and he's like, I need to shave my mustache so I can do a thing for a different studio, and I can just wear a fake one for hours. If I was a studio, I'd be like, no, you're on our contract, fuck off. And it's like, yeah, but that makes it really hard for Justice League. And the, the, the studio's like, who the fuck cares about Justice League? Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's that creepy moment where his eyes... Go they get big. bigger. Fringy really let himself go in this scene. <laughs> that looked so natural, too. Yeah, I, I quite like it. Um, how did Gandalf yeah, know it's... about Gollum's story exactly, then? How does anybody? My YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Gollum's <laughs> unboxings. Top ten reasons why the Precious is the best ever. <laughs> That's all the videos <laughs> are, and everyone's just like, make something new, um, Gollum. Even in the books, Gandalf just <coughs> knows. I don't really know how he knows. It's never Two, really explained. No more annoying relative visits. Because, like, oh, when Bilbo books, finds him, uh, doesn't even find well, out his history. Well, in the books, he's, uh, he's held in Mirkwood for a while, and then he runs away. Hmm. So they might have tortured it out of him then, I suppose? But they never really bring that up. It's like this really creepy history where Gandalf went after it at one point and tortured the shit out of Gollum. He just doesn't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's that whole Fifty Shades of Gandalf the Grey, only it's with <laughs> Gollum. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm like Frodo right now. I haven't slept much, and I'm sitting inside of a small stone cave mm -hmm. in the morning. 
You have a ring that you're obsessed with too? No, I don't think so. Do you so. have a scrawny little midget running around your house? No, not that I'm aware of. I double check. Not <laughs> that you're aware of. Tentatively, no. <laughs> We just hear like, sure, a voice in the background of Rags' microphone. And we just hear the sounds of a struggle. <laughs> the hobbits' ears, like, point, but they go back. They're not as cool as elves. They have rock and hair, though. No so unfair, though, for, like, character customization y stuff. Like, why would anyone pick anything but elf? Elf just beats out the rest. I'm sorry. Yeah. They're kind fair. of ridiculously OP. You don't even pick the others. Ironically, <laughs> like, yeah, I'll be a hobbit, lol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you pick the other ones to roleplay. In the Two Towers Return of the King shit, like the- When you play dwarves, you get more health. But like, it doesn't, like- Are the controls so tizzy that that wouldn't even really help you that much? You, your range is really short, so like, you know like the reach with Aragorn's sword, and Legolas's swords and bow, it's like- Makes it so much easier. With Gimli's axe, you have to like, get close to shit, and yeah, you can throw axes as well, which is- Okay, but Christ, like, I always remember finding it really annoying. I had to level the dwarf. I'd be like, I don't want to. <laughs> like, go <cool. laughs> Legolas is the funnest to level. When you unlock his, like, double shot mithril fire arrows, where they just annihilate a group double of. Double shot mithril fire arrows. <laughs> They're amazing. How does that work at all? Why does it mithril need to work? Mithril fire arrows? <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell Each did one would cost, that? like, the, the fucking Shire. Half, is what it is. <laughs> oh my god. It was amazing. I feel like I'm missing out having never played these games before. Oh, dude, if 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 there was a way, I'd love to play Return of the King with you. There's, there's a co-op in that game. It's it's old and it's clunky, but it's you'd have a lot of fun just being a Lord of the Rings fan. And yeah, yeah. when you played as Gandalf, you could spam, you'd hold R and tap A, and he just blasts, like, giant light out of his uh, fucking... I was about to say Gandalf stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, out of his Gandalf stick. I was, too, I was too young when these movies came out to even watch them until a few years later, and by that point, I didn't like, even... Oh yeah, that's right, we have friends. We were smoking. I thought it was kind of funny, though. They've only just realized, right, that Isengard has been taken over. What was their plan up to that point if it was covered in Urukai and ruled by Saruman? Just casually walk up like, hey, <laughs> we're here. Salted pork. He looks so We're happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe they cut the scene out of theatrical. I'm glad that Christopher Lee at least knew that this scene was put in the extended edition before he died. His scenes in The Hobbit were always seen as a sort of like he reconciled with Peter Jackson. I still can't get over the fact that it's because of this scene that we learned that he's stabbed a dude in the back before. Oh, that story's awesome. Can you imagine what Peter Jackson must have felt in that moment? Like, okay, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, you're done doing that now, right? <laughs> I wonder if he felt scared after learning Christopher Lee's like um, reaction to that. Like after the movies come out and he's mad that his scene isn't in the movie, he's like, oh no, Christopher Lee's gonna kill me. <laughs> Man, how fucking cool does that look? Let me guess. It's awesome. The key of all thank. So you have come here for information. I have some for you. My ball. In the heart. <laughs> My black ball. <laughs> Would My you towers. like to touch them, Gandalf? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna remake these movies one day, and it'll and be Christopher terrible. Lee is not going to be Saruman. Dude, you can say that for so many other fucking so characters in this. That's what's crazy about it. They have to remake uh, this before uh, Charles Dance dies. Yeah, he could probably play somebody in Lord of the Rings, but I wouldn't want anyone. I don't want them to touch this. Go I away. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I never want to see another Lord of the Rings. Tell me. What words of comfort did you give the halfling before you sent him to his doom? I wasn't there, dude. <laughs> I wasn't there. Stick an arrow in his gob. No. <laughs> I like that he considers it after Gimli <laughs> tells him to. Wow, like less peer pressure much. <laughs> Gandalf literally just dies. And they're like, fuck. <laughs> Oh, oh hey, Grim. Was there like a little little flap okay, at the top of his tower? <laughs> you know, I to this day I genuinely don't know how you get to the top of that tower. We got a little doorway of one of the spires. I'm guessing there's like some hatch at the like middle or something. Grima. Come down. Get louder, dude. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Saruman's just got really, really good ears. The only thing I have to say about this is I have no idea what the true limits or abilities of wizards are in this. It's like a wizard can be killed by a stab in the back. Does Saruman get a second chance? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Such a brutal death. Uh, I just like, does anyone want to check on Grima? It's like, no. <laughs> if he's dead, he's nah, dead. He, he, he climbed up there, he can climb down. <laughs> Oh, my black ball. Yeah, by the way, I don't know if you know this, Wolf, because you said you hadn't seen it, right? But Oh yeah, this is how the scene begins. It literally begins like this. Pippin picks it up, and everyone's like, oh. And the question everyone had was, where the fuck was Saruman? Oh, it actually annoys me thinking about it. It was like it was just like one minute. Just just cut the scene really far down with Saruman. Or just don't. Yeah, just don't cut it at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a good scene. I think that's why Chris Philly was upset, because he was like, it doesn't finish Saruman's story. Mm -hmm. He's just like not around anymore. Last time thing. you saw me, I was on my balcony going left and right and then left again. <laughs> this is the thing, he was like the villain of the second film. He was, Sauron isn't really relevant to the second film as much as he is. What's kind of funny is that in the books, uh, Saruman doesn't show up until like the last chapter of the Two Towers and like the second to last chapter of Return of the King with the scouring of the Shire. And is he in He's, the Hobbit books at all? Uh, not that I remember. It's been a long time since I last read The Hobbit. I remember Alex being like, Saruman shouldn't even be in it, and I remember being like, the Hobbit films are so bad that you should be glad he's in it. <laughs> he really no. is one of the only really good parts of those. Leave Sauron to me. And then he doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like 60 years later that the Lord of the Rings takes place, so... They put that in the trailer, dude, for the third Hobbit film, him saying, leave Sauron to me, and it was like, oh my god, are we gonna get a scene where, like, Sauron converts Saruman? It's like, no, that's literally the last Saruman scene. Fuck those movies. It looks like... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he was hesitant to drink that because it was like, <laughs> like, he can see he gave me something to eat. <laughs> you can see like a bit I of fish floating in the drink. He's like, mm. <laughs> it was not Theoden of Rohan who led our people to victory. Yeah, Theoden has a sort of mini arc in this film, doesn't he? Yeah. Not feeling fulfilled. But he's fucking badass on Pelennor Field, so. His speech was better than Aragorn's, changed my mind. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Aragorn's one was after his. How do you follow that up? <laughs> I feel something. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fucking look Aomer gives him. You'd think that would be well known that elves just can't get drunk or whatever, or nearly can't. Except for in The Hobbit, where it shows a couple drunk elves. Oh fuck yeah, I remember people pointing that out and being really pissed, cause, uh... Kinda ruins the scene. No, cause now it'll be like, no, it's just Legolas specifically. <laughs> like, okay. That looks so good there. Especially since the camera panned and it showed them dancing on mm. the tables. So it's like, how the hell did you do that? Gandalf, can you use your magical fucking music wizard powers to teach Owen how to cook? I would, I would honestly marry I her. <laughs> I can't stand it, Gandalf. Every, she can't do anything. She pulls an apple off a tree. It tastes like shit. I don't understand. Gandalf, did you know your eyebrows are black while the rest of your hair is white? What's that about? Does it represent that you're partially still evil? I like the idea that they've just been so focused on winning the fight that no one's bothered to ask. He's like, so you, like, died? And he's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'll explain this as best I can. <laughs> Pay attention. Smeagol wants to see them. Dead. I remember when I first watched this, I was like, Dude, they're sleeping really close to you. I actually care that your plans managed to get somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Once Munchy. they're dead, and then drops the stone, and then Sam overhears it. You'd think that would be enough for Sam to be like, Nah, we cannot fucking trust him, no matter what Frodo says. Gollum, they're right there, don't sell- <laughs> Don't say your plan. This is kind of funny, it explains the entire plan for the audience, like... <laughs> the lucky thing for him is that, like, even if this wasn't him trying to kill them, that would be the same place they were going, right? Yeah, really no other way in. I think I've told you this before, but I just find it funny, in the game, as Sam, you have to assault Kirith and Gollum, and you can kill, like, fucking 300 orcs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how the hell? <laughs> he Samwise the brave, that's how. Oh yeah, I guess that's another comparison. Sam is consistently brave, and some of his biggest payoffs are in the final film, where he does kill a bunch of orcs, and uh, fights Gollum, and is the reason that Frodo manages to get- It's all great. There's another Sam, in another show, who uh, goes on a similar journey, but then his last season, he gets turned into a cowardly faggot. Great. <laughs> I wonder if that ever like came into the decision, you know? We don't want him to be like the good <laughs> Sam. <laughs> People are too used to heroic Sabs. <laughs> We've gotta give them a different kind of Sam. 
Frodo he's looks over to him. He's like, he looks fine. It's <laughs> the picture of health. All right, yeah, he, that guy over there is trying to kill us. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I overheard him literally explain how he's going to kill us. It's like, I know, Sam. I know. And you're like, what? Know, what, do you, what do you? What do you mean? You know? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to eat you, Sam. When we get to the top of the mountain. Like, what? Men are the least resilient, right? Is that why Aragorn like loses his shit the second he touches the plantia? Yeah, I think so. Wow, you got a chair? Fuck. That looks really awkward to sleep on in the middle of a room. That looks like she's gonna wake up and have, like, the worst neck pain yeah. ever. I guess she's just been waiting there this whole time for him to come in. Oh, goodness me, did I fall asleep right here in front of the fire, alone in this room in the middle of it? Maybe if I sleep out in the middle of the room, Aragorn will notice me. Did I just put a couch out here in the middle of the throne room all by myself? Oh my goodness. I'm like- <laughs> She's pretending to sleep talk and she's like, It doesn't bother me if you're 80. <laughs> I stood upon the brink. It was utterly dark in the abyss before my feet. <laughs> Aragorn's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> just a- <laughs> you, you were smoking weed. Do you just invent <laughs> shit to <laughs> make the beard? <laughs> Is this what inspires your cooking? <laughs> God, you know who's gonna have to deal with her cooking for the rest of forever is Faramir. Poor Faramir. <laughs> he's such a- he's got such a shitty wife. The only one that ever cared about him and dies. Like, and every time, like, they get into any kind of argument, she just, she just compares him to Aragorn, and he's like, SERIOUSLY! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you imagine if that happened? <laughs> he was better than like, you. <laughs> okay. Faramir's like, oh. Something stirs in the east. What do your elf eyes see? <laughs> so, it's it, it's red sun in the morning if blood's been spilled, and stars are veiled as something stirring in the east. I don't get it, man. Aragorn's like, is there ever anything not happening? <laughs> ah, yes. Blue skies. It means giraffes. Everyone is bored because nothing is happening. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Gandalf's dreaming about. They say, like, when you smoke too much weed, you lose your eyelids. He's dreaming about, I don't know. It's like the first time Gandalf's been high since he died. Convenient that this, this ball-shaped jaw was right there. <laughs> Just need to see Saruman's Ever balls one more time. Ever since we left the Shire, time. he wouldn't stop it. It's so big. I just thought I was like super cool with this. He's just like, hey man, how you doing? Sauron's just like, no one ever talks to me. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Have you said anything to Sheila down at the, down at the park? I, I know you're interested in it. Pippin's like, yeah. Also, is this the um like the top contender for best book to movie adaptation? Uh, I'd say it's up there. I I have, guess I would have to see more book to movie adaptations to really mm. get a good handle of it. I just like the idea that Sarah was like, I'm free. Oh, he put a blanket on me. <laughs> Cast you and your wizardry. <laughs> a whole stew of it, Gandalf. A whole stew, a massive pot. And there she was, standing <laughs> over. <laughs> In Pippin's eyes, a fool, but an honest fool. He remains. He's, he's retarded, but at least he's honest about it. Sauron moves to strike the city of Minas Tirith. I like the idea. That, like, yeah, that makes sense. Adam Minas Tirith's right next to Mount Doom. <laughs> <laughs> You are the worst! Hurry, hurry! <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, I get it, I get it. I shouldn't have done the black ball thing, I get it. <laughs> Don't you understand? Don't you get it? They're Mary? taking you to Sauron. <laughs> Why? <laughs> can, you, can you imagine if Gandalf <laughs> took him to the Black Gate and was just like, here you go. <laughs> and then the next day, you see the tower falling down, the eye goes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he managed it. What Gandalf destructive of it. Fucking no one understands what happened. <laughs> I don't get it at all. Jeez, dick. Ow. <laughs> I survived Helm's Deep, asshole. Not you too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's just not having a good start to his day. What the hell is up here that no one told us about? Fuck. <laughs> I like the Aragorn chase him. He's like, guys, don't rape him. I know he's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> They're all like, what the hell, Aragorn? He's like, I just want to make sure. Foolhardy, maybe. He's a took. Everyone's like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> he's like, what's a, is that a, is that a, is that a chair? I don't know. <laughs> is that like a, a jacket or what is that? Yeah, that was definitely one of those, you laugh along with it. And then he's like, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> and she's like, is anyone else seeing this? Holy fuck. And some other guy's like, yeah, I see it. It's like, man, I really shouldn't have picked up those mushrooms the other day. That kid's Sorry. stare is fucking creepy. Imagine, like, his hair was in front of him and he flows it back. It's just Gandalf's oh God, face staring at him. <laughs> My lady.
I like he's very concerned. He's like, my lady. Somebody <laughs> stop her. <laughs> he's like, Elrond, sir, I tried to stop her, but I just I, I did everything I could. I did everything I could. I like the edit of this scene where he's like, there is death, there is life, there is death, there is life, death. <laughs> Are you here alone? Are there other people here? Are you lonely? What What's going on? <laughs> Elrond just <laughs> kicked everybody out because he's like, I hate all of you. He's like, get the fuck out of Rivendell. This place used to be a nice neighborhood. Imagine she was <laughs> like, like showed up. I had a son. He's like, that son dies. He's like, yes, but after he has a son. And he's like, yeah, but that son dies too. They're all shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, does everyone just die? He's like, kind of, yes. Dada. Don't call me Dada. <laughs> That symbolically represents what they did to the Hobbit. <laughs> just, I just knew you it on the floor. And then this was like, no, rewatch Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like just hands her a copy of the Blu-rays. I like how you, you, you would have watched like an episode of an average TV show by now, but the movie were like, right, we're almost done with the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> we're only 41 minutes into the movie, and this is like almost as long as an EFAP introduction. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there are other elves in Rivendell. Oh yeah, like two guys. I will just, uh, me and me, me and Steve here, if <laughs> you ever like, want a sword put back together for whatever reason, that's the, our specialty. So the last two guys, he's like, can you put a sword together? <laughs> like, the yes, actually. The he just us. wanted to kick out everyone else so he can be like, hey guys, we got the whole place to ourselves now. <laughs> Make me thorn. <laughs> <laughs> Look at he's dead. <laughs> <Can't help laughs> <him really. laughs> he, he just didn't give him any food or water the whole time and he ended up dying. <laughs> This is a scene where he's like, help me, please, I need a drink. And I was like, quiet. <laughs> the horse is like, <gasps> 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 <laughs> <laughs> this city's tall. Motherfucker, let me stay in a stable. Oh, yeah, just go in. Everyone trusts Gandalf, it's fine. <laughs> the gods are like, would you like gray and shit? <laughs> Gandalf. Yeah, I saw the tree. <laughs> yes, I know. I saw. We all saw the tree. It looks like shit. You guys have way better trees than the Shire. Stop fucking pointing it out. He's never seen a dead tree before in his entire life. Please, wouldn't Gandalf would totally expect him to ask about Barbie if he wasn't already aware of his death? He, like, he was with you guys, was he not? Gandalf's like, I have no idea what happened to him. I hey, fucking Gandalf jumped off a cliff with a Balrog. So <laughs> perhaps you come to tell me why my son is dead. In fairness, you have another one. It is pretty cool. I like Faramir more. Yeah, he's, he's actually pretty neat. He's a good guy. You should get to know him. That Sean Bean fuck was always going to die, you know? You can't have Sean Bean <laughs> and expect him to survive. The mightiest man may be slain by one arrow, and Boromir was pierced by many. <laughs> yeah, your kid was shot repeatedly. A lesser child would have died after the first gunshot, but no, not little Timmy. Many bullets he bore. Many to the head. <laughs> Fine. This is so horrible. Bore him being screamed in pain before he died. <laughs> I can't blame him. I would have screamed too. It looked like it hurt. After the 12th arrow pierced his kneecap, he finally stumbled. <laughs> His face was pale, he was puking up blood. He was cursing Zenithor your was name. <laughs> Zenithor is just sobbing this whole time. <laughs> he told us many secrets about you. <laughs> he says it's your fault, Zenithor. He wouldn't have been here if you didn't tell him to. Authority has not given to you to deny the return of the king. Steward. That's, that's, quite, that's quite a badass line from Gandalf. Steward. <laughs> it's like, hey man. It's, my name is Stuart, please. <laughs> Gandalf, clean your cloak, Jesus. No, no, it's cooler this way. It represents his slow decay into darkness. <laughs> At the end of the movie, he becomes Sauron. You know, Ryan Johnson will probably have that happen. It's like, thanks for visiting, come back soon. Look, they kill Sauron, and he's like, I'm going to move into Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> He's always just liked it there. The orcs are pretty friendly, actually. <laughs> the line of kings failed. The white tree withered. Until the true king ejaculates onto the tree, it will never blossom again. I mean, if that's what it takes. Mordor. Can you imagine living in this city and seeing that every single day? Like, guys, maybe we should do something about that. <laughs> <laughs> when the shadow of Mordor reaches this city, it will be good. To be fair, Gandalf, I'd rather travel in the shade as well. <laughs> There's no leaving this city. Help must come to us. 
No, what, we can leave what, right what, now. Like, what if, yeah, what if they did just leave? He gets on a fucking horse and leaves, and Gettle's like, No, asshole! <laughs> Shadowfax, you betrayed me. He's lying. <laughs> Shadowfax, I like, hey, stayed right here, fuck this shit. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm here to die, man. I was a horse. I was living in the woods and shit. <laughs> Do you understand our relationship, Gandalf? I don't want to be here. It's like you wanted me to take you to fucking Rohan that one time, and look, I'm still here. Yes, you, <laughs> you don't pay me. <laughs> this is all like extra. I'm doing this shit gratis. Son of a These lands were once part of the kingdom of Gondor. That's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it it says that one for one on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can read it too, Mr. Frodo. Look, Mr. Frodo, the f the flowers make a crown on its head. That moves in for a kiss, and Frodo's like, "Whoa!" <laughs> oh. <laughs> so their argument on Kirith Uncle is that just Frodo saying, "I'm not gay, Sam." <laughs> yes, you are, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's why we're well, getting it's high right bad. now, Gandalf? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, this is some strong <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 Rags, we told Fringy yesterday about interpreting these movies as an allegory for the drug war, and he thought that we were being serious, yeah. and that we'd found someone online that actually unironically thought that. Is there any hope, Gandalf? No. <laughs> no. A little bit. No, we're, we're fucked. Honestly, with how significant the fucking fight is as a whole, I would pull everyone out of Oskilia. Like, we can lose that place, who fucking cares? Sauron has yet to reveal his deadliest servant. You've met him before. Yeah, right there. He is high. He is yet to one. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that didn't that, actually happen, did it, Gandalf? That's what Pippin's thought... thinking about. He's like, <laughs> we've met, we, I've met him, but he hasn't been revealed. Okay. <laughs> You gotta wonder how he knew that it was the Witch King of Angmar specifically that stabbed Frodo too, since not, he was not uh, only not Aragorn there, but they all looked in. exactly the I was, same. I was gonna say, no, I find it more interesting that... First off, it's racist his, against his, Nazgul to say that they all look the same, first off. Okay. His confusion would be like, are there nine of them or whatever? Nine Witch Kings? And he's like, no, just one. He's like, wait, what? But... No, one is the <laughs> Witch King. No, which of the five were with? The, the Witch King has a Witch Secretary. It's the one with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, he has the black robe. You can't see his face. <laughs> Pippin's like, have you seen these guys before? Gandalf's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> he just heard about it from somebody like else. Like I that said, they face. haven't been revealed I saw yet. in a book. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking pictures are like completely different. <laughs> like some weird, like gangly creatures. Minas Morgul looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like Gollum's line was like, retard. What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? You had one job. Obviously, all of Lord of the Rings music is amazing, but this is like one of my favorite tracks too, and it just yeah. plays starts up. The Witch King track. So fucking cool. <laughs> I love that the idea is the Witch King commands his armies by autistically screeching. <laughs> He's just reing. <laughs> no, this is just the morning track to the supermarket. Milk and eggs and bread. <laughs> Milk and eggs and bread. <laughs> Good thing none of them are looking slightly to the right. That's such an awesome shot. Maybe we should wait a little bit. <laughs> I just think Gandalf has really good eyesight. He's like, Frodo! If anything happens to him, you have me to answer to. Don't threaten to rape him. I know you're gay, but this is not the way. Don't call him like that. Nothing. Just clear something up. I would have been more overt. I'd have been like, I mean, he did threaten to kill us, and you just ignored me. to kill us, Frodo. They have torches, lit torches. <laughs> That's actually a good voice, like... <laughs> if you want to stay silent and quiet and not see, like, maybe don't use torches. That armor, though. Ah. <laughs> like, the, these two are clearly not wearing, like, the, the armor, and then the guy's like, why not? It's like, it doesn't fucking work. <laughs> it was a Mordor arrow. It's super tough, I guess. Yeah, I just, I always, when I, I remember when I was younger watching I was like, God, Oskiliath has taken in fucking seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine seeing that, by the way. You're one of the guards, you see this tiny person climbing up the wall. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs>
the best part is is uh in Gondor and Rohan, they don't know that hobbits exist at all. So they <laughs> be see terrified. <laughs> <laughs> they just see a little midget climbing up the walls and they're like, what in the hell? Gandalf, Saruman could throw fire. Could you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. I always assumed he did it this way because he wanted him to get in trouble. <laughs> Gandalf would be fine. <laughs> they take him to like be punished and Gandalf's like, how could you do this, Pippin? <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> I always would have assumed as well that Denethor's being a prick, obviously, but the actual soldiers of Gondor are probably like, oh no, the help signal to help oh us. No, oh no, more people are coming to help us. Uh, we tried to put it out, sir, but it was just too hot. <laughs> The poor break. assholes, their job is to sit on the top of that fucking mountain. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Can you oh, imagine yeah, yeah. what it must be like for all the guys that their job is literally just to sit in the middle of nowhere and hope that someone has to light a fire at some they point? They probably cycle I, them in and out. You get oh, a week yeah, yeah, up yeah. there. I mean, you, you can see you they've know. got a little, like, hut there as well. I was like, oh, good detail. Yeah. They just smoke weed in the... <laughs> yeah. I mean, dude, like, like, of, all, of all the jobs the you could box. have, of all the jobs, it's like, well... It's pretty fucking safe. <laughs> They They've got, got the a... hot box set up down there. You can see the smoke coming out the top. <laughs> they just got an Xbox set up inside, and they're like, "See, they're happy." <laughs> one, one day they're caught with it. They're like, "What the fuck is this?" And you're like, "I uh, uh, magic." <laughs> if only Sauron knew about this system, he could have sent like a fell beast to just fucking break two of them in a row, and then they wouldn't be able to do shit. God, look at that one. Fucking hell. <laughs> How hard must it be to climb look up at that there? One. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> do you think people like? die like they fall off a cliff trying to get to their job <laughs> i'm going for my <laughs> annual commute pay. what if one of them fell off a cliff like this day and then they couldn't light the beacon Good knuckles for eight. okay <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> and rohan will answer i think they get all excited that he goes say no <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, don't- That's a sword, I use it to stab people if I need to stab people. Jesus Christ, Aragorn, you should understand. It's like, what if Aragorn, like, at that moment was like, Hey, Theoden? Theoden! <laughs> He's got a sword! Defending this ruined city was a really bad idea. Yeah, let's just fucking leave. Though it does feel pretty fucking lame for Faramir, this is the second time he loses all skill. <laughs> it's almost like this is a terrible position and we should not keep trying to defend it because- <laughs> And then they get it back while he's in a coma. <laughs> I wonder what a rated R version of this would look like. No restrictions on like having like really. I remember um, big dicks kills. and titties everywhere. Hell when yeah! They, <laughs> when they fire the the catapult with all the heads, I remember even my parents were like, "Ooh, that's a bit too adult." And I was like, "That's awesome!" <laughs> I don't even know this dude's name, but I feel sorry for him. Yeah, I think they did a good good enough job of making us be like, Oh, that guy, no. I think it's just because he's nice to Faramir that I like him. Because yeah, there's so yeah. few people it's, that are nice to Faramir. It's, that's our associate. And then it allows us to get introduced to a new badman. Who, by the way, his death scene is cut out of the theatrical version of this film, too. In fairness, it, it's not nearly as bad as Saruman. No, no, of course. But, like... Why? You know? Like, we, that's the kind of shit we want to see. I like the tension in this scene. Like, they're getting their asses kicked in Osgiliath, and then when they're running away, they have three Nazgul chasing after them. Wilhelm. Like, the idea he does this, and then they're like, what else can you do, by the way? Like, how, you know? Lord of the Rings has a really light magic system. Doesn't have really clearly established no. rules. But... It is tough to do it, but they didn't really even try with this. It's the same way in the book. It's not really established with any rules or anything. I was gonna say, if Gandalf was anything yeah. like the game version, he could go to fucking Mordor on his own. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the fucking staff like a minigun, just go... <laughs> yeah, you're just kind of supposed to assume he can't do anything. He's got a really big flashlight stick. <laughs> Can sometimes break rocks, and that's about all he can do. You've seen Frodo and Sam? A couple days ago, I didn't think they existed. Now there's fucking three. <laughs> you guys lay eggs? And the pass of Kiddy's uncle. That shouldn't be worrying, right? Because that's like the only good way in. I guess we never really found out what Gandalf's plan was to get in. <laughs> Once they get so far, he's like, I was going to ask Gollum. <laughs> Turns out there's another way in on the other side of Mordor that's like really easy. <laughs> like pleasant orcs as well. They're like, hey, how are you doing? Welcome to Mordor. <laughs> Baromir was loyal to me, not some wizard pupil. <laughs> I'm just picturing Baromir with a little wizard hat and a wand. 
<laughs> one with it's like blue and it has like little golden stars on the hat and everything. <laughs> with guardian levios. <laughs> Why does staircase go directly up? <laughs> They're not stairs so much as small tiny cliffs, one after the other. <laughs> And that army is still coming out of- Jesus Christ, that's a lot of <laughs> army. <laughs> it's been really crowded in uh, Minas Morgul. <laughs> <laughs> that place looks kind of cool, I want to see what goes on there. It's like one of the things that I thought was kind of fun about uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War, is that you get to run around there in like a little open world area. Oh, yeah. It's like, all right, this is awesome. The story also, of this game is trash, but you know. He literally could have grabbed that, pulled it so the necklace breaks and just run off. Like, he really could have gotten his wish here. I guess he thought it was too risky. Yeah, I guess if he thought it would be a little bit uh, better to make sure that uh, Shelob kills them both. Yeah. Rather than risk them trying to find him. Also, he's got the bread bread plan is coming up. <laughs> I love the idea that Frodo's like, You fat fuck, you ate all the bread! <laughs> I like the idea that he confronts Sam about this, like, do you want the ring? And he's like, do you really, are you taking the word of the creepy goblin that, like, lives in this thing? I will break him. Why is it that he outclasses Gandalf? What's the dealio with that? What? Why outclasses him. Outclasses him, and he can break his fucking staff, can't he? Oh, that doesn't actually happen in the book. I was always it's actually a battle that. in the book, but it never actually... It doesn't show the battle, which is really fucking disappointing, actually. Hmm. In the book, uh, the Witch King takes off his hood, and it's like a, a skull that's on fire with a crown on its head, and he, like, laughs at Gandalf. If you look it up, the animated version of this movie is pretty we'll accurate, too. To we'll watch it after this. The, the animated version isn't really good, but the Witch King does look more accurate in that version than he does, but I like him more in this. The burning skull thing is kind of silly to me. I was gonna say, the Burning what? Skull, I think it sounds cool in concept sort of thing, it might have looked to me in execution. Yeah, I mean, they might have been able to make it work in here, but uh, the cartoon just looked kind of derpy, I guess. He doesn't actually break his staff in the book, so it's not supposed to happen that way. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what the film was saying with it, because Gandalf doesn't get to have his staff throughout the rest of the film, then, does he? No, I don't think so. He's like, hello, small person, he's like, hello, oh, you're the guy who loses Osciliath regularly. <laughs> <laughs> From... Faces making. <laughs> is there a captain here who still has the courage to do his lord's will? He's like, no, yeah, I would, but it's a really retarded plan. Yeah, that, that's really fucking dumb. Not. They have like dragons or something. In in Lord of the Rings, it's a retarded plan because this guy is like insane and he also kind of wants his son to be killed because he fucking hates him so much. <laughs> While in Game of Thrones, it's like a legitimate strategy from many intelligent people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like it's, it's literally the Dothraki charge, what they do. But there's like an actual justification <laughs> for it because Denethor is a horrible person that wants his son dead. Do you, do you remember when Jon Snow says we can't defeat the dead in a straight fight? Why the fuck did they send the Dothraki to their death? That'll never make sense to me. John was just a closet racist and he really didn't like <laughs> yeah, them. Everyone was. And Daenerys was just like, I think people will be happier if I just kill the Dothraki. It was, it was funny as well, from a writing standpoint, it would actually have made some sense to kill them all that way, so you wouldn't have to deal with the fact that they rape and pillage, but but they didn't, they just resurrected them. <laughs> it's like, okay. I love that the Unsullied... Don't they go back to, like, Essos? Mm-hmm. You're going to Noth. Why send Jon Snow to the Wall if they're not going to be around to enforce that? Dude, episode six. I'm not looking forward to breaking it down. I'm gonna be there for fucking hours. <laughs> it's so retarded. There's not a single character that should be happy with what happens in that fucking they, outside they, of they Sansa. Like, Dude, they could have just sent him to the wall for like a couple days, waited for the Unsullied to leave, and been like, okay, you can come back now. Not to mention that it's the North. It's Sansa's fucking jurisdiction. <laughs> she could just be like, uh, I pardoned him, lol. So stupid. The whole show is stupid now. Your head's on a rock. Your neck is gonna be like. Oh, jeez, yeah, that'd be painful. That's all we have left. <laughs> he took it. Like, Whoa, Master. where'd it go? He doesn't eat it. He can't have taken so? it. it. The logic doesn't follow, Mister Frodo. That's that's doesn't make any sense. He's always stuffing his face when Master's not looking. That's a filthy lie. I'm so lie. glad that you died, Lana. <laughs> 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 Sam, <laughs> Sam, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is all just jealous so love triangle between the three of them. <laughs> oh god. The load? Oh no. <laughs> the load, no. It's you. You're the golem. You turned her against me. 
<laughs> Sorry, Sam. You're too fat. Go home. <laughs> it's not that easy. Yeah, the idea that it's like you can just toddle off home. He's like, dude. The army's still coming out of me this morgue. He's gonna have to wait for a while. No, he just joins up with them. That's how pissed off he is. Fuck Middle Earth. Let's take it. I love the edit of this where he says to go home and then it cuts to the very end of this movie where he's back in the Shire marching home <laughs> to his family and it's like. Da, 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 da. I hope it all worked out with Mr. Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I know, guys, it's fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah, I like that they have Gandalf being like, this is retarded. <laughs> Again, oh, I just, you. like, they legitimately have plans like this in Game of Thrones. It's so painful. <laughs> Thanks for the flowers. I don't know what to do with this, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just eats it on the way there. <laughs> Where does my allegiance lie if not here? Here, just not with him specifically. He's fucking crazy. <laughs> Gandalf's just like, I, I just spoke to him. He said, don't do it. Memory. Yep. Oh, good. Oh, good. Second there, I thought. The Gandalf was like, no. I said go. He's like really high up. <laughs> Did you guys notice they have trebuchets behind the castle walls? How insane is that? They clearly don't know how to use trebuchets. That's why they have such a difficult time with this fight. I always thought this That's was funny as well. In. They show Gothmog realizing they're coming and he's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> like, why? <laughs> like, this, this is a dude. trap. They're tricking us. <laughs> they wouldn't be this retarded, right? <laughs> They're trying to waste our arrow supply. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that the whole point of this is that they're all going to die in a stupid fashion. But then Game of Thrones is like, oh, this is a legitimate strategy. Dude, when D&D were watching this, they were like, that was very clever. I'm, I don't see how it doesn't work. <laughs> it's so disturbing watching him eat. They used this song in like the trailer for the third Hobbit movie, and it was really out of place. It also seems cheap. Yeah. Remember these other better movies? I do. Hence why we watch it like a million times. <laughs> the power of a fucking good movie. Even the orcs are like, really? Is this well, they lifted their bows like, I guess this is our response? <laughs> <laughs> the natural reaction that one would have. I like that Gothmog has elephantitis on his face. It's a, that's actually a, a, a sign of beauty among elves. Barnacle. <laughs> He's right out of weed. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what to do with my. No. Who are the people that just make these really tall places to go? Like, guys, no, no. <laughs> like, it's like, it a really cool place. Uh, but it's like, just some dude really who looks at this mountain and he's like, I want to put a camp up there. And everyone's like, why? You have to go back yeah, down to the morning. Like, why? <laughs> you know that joke there where he's like, he's kind of shit. And then uh, later on, she's like, he helped kill the Witch King. He'd be like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Why can he not fight for those he loves? Yeah, Ammer. You know, as little of war you know that small people can't feel love. <laughs> They're like the adopted. I like how this line is like, yeah, war is a province of men. It's fucking shit. Be glad. She's like, what about short men? <laughs> He's like, well, I mean, I don't know. Like, well, I mean, depends on how, like, how short. Five foot? Five, uh, uh, uh. Frog with the <laughs> That god was like, what? <laughs> what if he came, like, right up and he, like, touched his shoulder and he accidentally killed the guard? <laughs> like, why'd you do that? Aragorn was like, witness. he was raping me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking deflected this knife two movies ago. This is it's my anti-rape knife. Anti-rape <laughs> <laughs> You will not long survive the evil that now spreads from Mordor. How does that work? Arwen's life is now. Oh, tied is that to the a, a thing? That's a weird thing that happens. It's like Arwen's dying now. It's like Padme dying of a broken heart, but significantly less retarded. Okay. I way prefer the fan theory that Palpatine killed her to resurrect Anakin, sort of thing. That's so much better as an actual. How would that ending. work, though? Just, I don't know, fucking force sucks the life force out of her and provides it to Anakin. Like, that's way From cooler than her dying of sadness. <laughs> There's, like, some video out there of, uh, Luke and Obi-Wan talking on Dagobah after Yoda dies, and Obi-Wan explains, like, how Padme dies, and he's like, yeah, she died of a broken heart, and Luke's like, that's retarded. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to find that video for years because I can't find it anymore because it's so funny. I like how ridiculously long the sword is. That's like, a right when, when the camera pans up yeah. it and it just keeps going. That's a man's sword. You know what pisses me off? The <laughs> Game of Thrones producers wouldn't allow Jon Snow to keep the sword. Really? Why not? Well, I should they, totally go to Kit Harrington. It, it's so stupid because there's like a petition out there to oh, convince them to give him the sword because that was the one thing he wanted and they said no. 
Why? What, what do they need it for? I don't know. <laughs> what are they gonna use it like, for? If, if I were him, I would legitimately have someone forge one for me with the handle. I gotta be like, I gotta keep that yeah, shit. It's like, Kit Harrington deserves that fucking cool ass sword. I like how no one on this planet as well would deny him that. They'd be like, no, give him it. But apparently, the producers are like, no, you can't have it. Like, what, what do you think Kit Harrington's gonna do? <laughs> like, go kill people with it? He's I'd love to nice. know the logic if there's some kind of contractual thing or whatever. You should have just stolen it from set. I mean, I like that Ryan Reynolds, there's the story where he just takes the suit because he's like, if I'm going to play Deadpool, I'm taking the suit. Yeah. <laughs> and it just makes YouTube videos with it now. So it's like... I like that they, they give all the actors a souvenir and they finally get to Daenerys and they give her a burned child. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> They, they give her the skeleton prop that they used in season <laughs> five. Remember this? This is what writing is now. It's just a burned husk of what was something valuable. We, we wanted to give you something that represents your character's journey. <laughs> <laughs> she gets, uh, Daenerys gets the Starbucks cup. Oh, yeah. It's so stupid. Why won't you give Kit Harrington the sword? Like, the petition is littered. It was made after it came out that he's like, checked himself into rehab because they were like, maybe it'll help this time him if he's got a little present. Give him the sword. Have you learned nothing of the stubbornness of dwarves? Yay, right, they're going with him. It. You know I'm going to like, talk to ghosts, right? <laughs> yeah, like halfway through, they're like, what are we doing again? <laughs> we're going to convince an army of undead ghost traders to help us in the next battle. I'm like, hmm, alrighty. I was actually listening to us discussing the ghosts thing in like a really old EFAB. So let's like point out like, why didn't they go after Mordor? And the justification was that Aragorn says they're released at the end of it. And I think that the only thing I have left is I need to pay attention to what Legolas says from basically here until they get into the place. But just a line that makes it so that they they're bound to defend Gondor solely. It was the only thing they even can do. Not attack anywhere. That's all I want. Gimli does say before they're released that they should keep them around. Yeah, yeah. But that's... <laughs> they don't answer that question, really. Because, like, the justification that Aragorn has already said he would have released them. I'm like, yeah, but why did he do that? He just needed them for Gondor's aid not to, like, invade another place. I know, but why? I would have pushed for that if I were him. I'd be like, would you guys, would you guys be I don't think they would have. One more. Done don't don't tell me you guys. don't think they would have. You gotta fucking ask that question. Well, I know they wouldn't have because that's like the lore of it, but you know. Well, you can't say that from the perspective of the movies. I mean, the war that they literally abandoned was fighting Mordor, wasn't it? Yeah, well, kind of. There's different ghost shit. Mm -hmm. I'd have to actually look at that all up, because I don't really- it's more explaining the appendices. I like the ghost, but if I was to personally have written this, I probably would have not had them in there, because they're super OP. In the book, they actually don't even show up to Minas Tirith. They just take the boats and call it good. It was actually the most disappointing chapter in the entire book. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see some ghost shit, dude. <laughs> the worst part is, is like, they don't show it happen. It just cuts right to the end of the battle at Minas Tirith and then Gimli and Legolas visit Pippin. Or no, it was Merry, I think. And he's like, what, what are you doing? Where were you guys? And then Gimli and Legolas are like, yeah, we hired a bunch of ghosts and they helped us take the boats. And that was it. Like, it didn't show what happened. It was, it was extremely disappointing as a chapter. I was like, I wanted to see this happen. This sounds awesome. That's funny about um, the, like the legends of the White Walkers. I was just thinking about how like the pale spider's big as hounds thing. Like they, they cheaped out on that. They cheaped out on the elephants. They showed us that they had like four giants at the end of season six in the White Walker army or season seven, sorry. And then we only see one of them die in, uh, in episode three. They could have used the giants as a justification to get over the fire. They could have done lots of things. <laughs> I just like the idea, you come up with all of the greatest defenses for a castle, and you have loads of room, you do all the things, but you have an army that attacks it that's in the millions. It's just a fucking swarm of people. And I don't know if there's any kind of castle defense that could actually repel that many people, especially when they don't feel pain, you know? The only thing I'd have to worry about writing it is very... that they self-combust. That's the problem. It's like, how do we make it so that they could lose when these things fucking ignite immediately. I probably wouldn't have made it so that's a thing. Is that a thing in the books? Because I don't- they don't really encounter the White Walkers that often in the books. Yeah, there's not- um, there's not much information on them in the books. Spooky scary skeletons. I want to fight! 
I will say no more. <laughs> you were allowed to be my servant up until the battle started. <laughs> He's like, I was just fucking kidding, you gremlin. <laughs> I wonder what the plan was with him. Were they just gonna be like, all right, walk back to Rohan? Yeah, and see, you get all, look at how much buildup have we had? Fucking two hours for this coming war. I didn't battle the fucking five armies. They're like, we're gonna outdo this one. It's even more stuff, bigger. And you're like, oh, fuck you. The battle doesn't even start for like another 15 minutes. It takes half the movie to actually get to the big battle. I mean, two towers takes Great. ages to get to Helm's Deep. Helm's Deep is only in like the last 30 minutes of the movie. And it's awesome. I love the justification for the uh, episode three fight in uh, Game of Thrones is, hey guys, it took them 50 days to film that. I'm like, okay. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if it took you 50 oh. days to shit. It's still a shit. <laughs> yeah, how many days did it take to make the Lord of the Rings? And look, this one's actually good. Oh, neat. <laughs> <laughs> This <laughs> is so dumb and relatable. <laughs> See, like, as much as I love this, you probably could have cut this for Sarabad's death scene. Yeah. Oh, then again, this might have been cut from the theatrical version, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, this was- I think this was cut, yeah. Yeah, I remember- yeah, uh, them walking through the misty bit there. It's in the game, but it's not in the theatrical version. I remember being like, when the fuck did this happen? <laughs> Do not suffer the living to pass. Those look cool. I like how there's, like, a rotting flesh layer over mm. the- skeleton. You can kind of see them both, depending on the shot. What do these guys do in their free time? Play solitaire, I guess. Ghost chess. <laughs> like Legolas, what was the plan there, dude? <laughs> Aragorn just looks over to him and he's like, what the fuck, man? And I will hold your oaths fulfilled. What say you? <laughs> Is that a yes? <laughs> oh, this looks cool as fuck. A lot of people that hate this because it didn't happen in the book, but it's like, this- it, It's a skull avalanche. Come on. It's cool. so cool! <laughs> Look at that shit! It's Peter Jackson's ships. There's two kinds of cameos. There's Peter Jackson cameos, where he eats a carrot, throws a rock, and gets shot. Or, there's an M. Night Shyamalan cameo, where he needs to be a full-on character in the movie. And he has, like, some important advice all the time. It's really fucking annoying. Oh my god, remember in Glass how he was like, Just let your dad go for a walk, bro. It's like, M. Night, get out of here. You know, he and his brother, this family, they just... No luck with arrows, man. No. <laughs> well, hey, at least it. Faramir survived the arrows. I mean, he wasn't shot by three in fairness. Yeah, he wouldn't. Yeah, the third one might be the one. This movie was ahead of its time. It portrays an orc with cerebral palsy. Release the <laughs> he wears line. a skull hat. <laughs> yeah, this shit's like, oh shit. This probably is like one of the more violent parts of these movies. My line has ended. You could fuck someone else. <laughs> That's true. And I just, yeah, it's always like, you sent him to his death, you flim flam. He needs medicine, my lord. My life has ended. Oh, okay. No, no he's, he's good. <laughs> he's alive. He'll actually, he'll actually be okay. Looks like he missed all the vitals. Oh, so cool. <laughs> If you mm -hmm. saw that, how fucked would you be? Well, but this is this is my point about the whole like, oh, if it was all in darkness and we couldn't see them, it'd be more scary. It's like, no, it's not. Like that looks significantly more terrifying. And it's not even the full battlefield. That's what I was saying with the zombies. Imagine it just filled every last place you could even see. Right. Yeah. It's exactly two hours and one minute of fighting starts in this movie. Long man bed. Oh, so satisfying when Gandalf fucks him up. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> The guards don't do shit. Yeah, the guards are like, oh, thanks. I, I like how everyone was just gonna go run and hide in their homes. Yeah, it's like, guys, I mean, you're better off at least defending. <laughs> you're dead otherwise. Yeah. Game of Thrones, you looking? You looking? <laughs> oh. Like, sir, if I could move, but it saves me, do you think it's worth it? <laughs> Who is this child? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Nazgul flying in with this music is fucking awesome. I mean, this is fantasy right here, you know? <laughs> this is why we watch this shit. And they go right for the trebuchets, too. Exactly, it all makes sense. Oh, this is brutal. Oh. You know, for movies that have so little blood or gore, when they actually do show something violent, it's pretty... brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Throw a grenade. <laughs> oh, and they have arches. Game of Thrones, where were your arches? 
The only archer on the wall was Arya, really. Yeah, it's like some other dude, and then one other dude, you're like, okay. <laughs> Gandalf's like, that was kind of a kill steal, but yeah, no, great. You did it. You got your, you got your sword bloody. You ruined my kill streak, bro. It's all one game. It's too strong. It's like it was made specifically for the purpose of keeping us out, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. I don't get it. Run, run, Richard. Like, sorry, what? Gr why, why didn't we bring that out already? <laughs> Big criticism I see with this is it doesn't really look like a wolf. It just looks like a pig. I thought it was a pig. I thought it was too. <laughs> like me and my friends called him Wilbur all the time. <laughs> Wilbur. I think it's because it like kind of reminds you of like that imagery of like a pig with an apple in its mouth on a plate sort of thing. Yeah. They could totally have been killed. Like, let's just like, what the fuck, man? It like, was past his ear, to be fair. You're really <laughs> bad influence, dude. <laughs> You could totally picture Aragorn oh. going. <laughs> I wonder what that feels like to have a ghost just pass through you, and not even like say sorry or anything. I, I bet like... that's a big social faux pas, a real big breach of etiquette. I like to think the between scenes as they were going up, Gollum and fucking Frodo were just back and forth about how annoying Sam has been this whole time. <laughs> Do you remember that time where he just like fucking was talking about like farming and shit? <laughs> <laughs> Cole's like, oh, he's so I annoying. Oh, yeah. He ruined those rabbits. I know. And Frodo's like, yeah, I would have liked the roar, honestly, but he just fucked it. They look down, Sam's still there crying. They're like, ugh. Are you still here? <laughs> yeah, this is the whole fucking level in the game. You battle like a million spiders. Sam is a hero. It's sticky. What is it? All the people who come to fuck Shilam. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just slid off and died. <laughs> he, like, so he, he, he like fell right off a cliff and down into the armies at Minas Morgul, and they're like, oh, just eat it. Go back up, save Frodo. Yeah, because he doesn't have to be in any of that. I'd be like, you may as well. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny if he. Second like, time I climbed these stairs today. <laughs> gets back to Frodo, and he's like, I, f I found all the bread. Frodo's like, oh, really? And he's like, I, I ate it all, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good thing that Maybe voiceover like played. You in dark places. Oh, she's so creepy. It's like, really, dude? <laughs> Your fat one was right about you. <laughs> it's, it's Sam is standing like three meters away, like, wow. <laughs> dude, wow, I was gonna save you, but, uh, ouch. My god, they showed this scene to my class back in middle school. I don't remember why they were showing like movie scenes to like inspire us and i'm like what's inspiring about him throwing Gollum off a cliff well maybe it was the fact that frodo is like i gotta destroy it for both of us that was the inspiring part <laughs> we did it yay that was a cool ass shot it's kind of funny game. if she did this remotely and she was able to view him at all times through a little like in the thing and she gets him the big old bump to to get going and then she sees he gets stabbed by the spider and she's like oh <laughs> uh, and then she gets her mirror turns to sam it's like, sam okay. it's your <laughs> destiny <laughs> you were always the one she and the other elves are like taking bets on who's gonna die <laughs> <laughs> the, the highest likelihood is Sauron wins, and Elrond's like bet 10,000 units on that shit. Uh, you might want to put your helmet on. Yeah, that's the one thing with this scene. It's like, you're not doing a very good job at keeping yourself concealed. <laughs> you randomly hear one guy go, WOMAN! <laughs> I'm the woman! And everyone they go, ah, they're running away! I can see her ankles! There is some implication in the book that, I mean, she... In the book, she, like, uh, uses a fake name to pretend like she is a guy, but there is, like, some strange, like, little implication that, like, a few of them know it's her, but they don't say anything. You the girly-looking one in the midget, let's go! <laughs> Only thing with this is like this tower is so far away from that tree, so when Denethor catches on fire, he's gotta run a long way to jump off that ledge. I mean, have you ever been on fire? Yeah. Have you ever been a crazy man on fire? No, I haven't. Well, then you judge this like you know shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure he just like collapse and die before he made it that far. This proves to me that you've never been set on fire. I have, so I can confirm it's possible. And the fall doesn't kill you; it's the uh, infection from the wounds. I love that Gandalf says yeah. that, they come through and he's like, oh fuck. 
Ugh. Spiders are pretty much proof that God doesn't exist, because why in the hell would anything create some eight-legged horrible monster? They I, eat cockroaches, take the good with the bad. Oh yeah, that is the one thing I appreciate about spiders, they kill the shit out of loads of other things. Well, maybe if God didn't make those other things, they wouldn't Yeah, no, spiders. I will concede though, like, since I entered this, this universe, I was like, spiders, like, could you have designed anything creepier? Look at those things. The multiple eyes, the multiple legs, how fast they move, the way they kill th When I found out how they kill, I was like, nah, these are just- this is made up. <laughs> <laughs> they wrap you in a fucking cocoon and then suck your blood out. It's like, disgusting uh. and horrifying. It's, it's, the most hor it's the most horrible thing. I hope Sam told people about this, because it was amazing. He tells all of his kids war stories. Like, no one ever believes the spider story. They're like, fuck off. I mean, if I ever meet a guy who's, like, Got a spider as a pet. I just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna stay far the fuck away from you. Thank God, they have like pincers that come out of their assholes. You're gonna tell me that there's a god out there who is like, this is. This needs to happen. <laughs> <laughs> he like rubs the 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 elven bread on his lips. Like, come on, Mister Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, true love's first kiss is always works. Wakes Frodo up and he's like, what the fuck, Sam. I'm not gay. And then the, the story is permanently like, it's all great other than that time Sam tried to rape me. <laughs> but Sam's like, I did! And he's like, dude, don't need to lie. It's okay. Everyone says it to him. Gandalf's like, you did amazing, Sam, except the raping. <laughs> Frodo has the choice. Be raped by Sam or be raped by Sheila. <laughs> raped by Sam. <laughs> I wonder if he leaves this part of the story out. Like, oh yeah, I found you up in the tower. Yep. That's the first time I found you, I didn't- I didn't know, uh... <laughs> I saw the orcs carrying you away. You know what's funny? In a crappier vision, Sam wouldn't have taken the ring, just because the writers would have forgotten about the ring. And then- <laughs> the, and then we'd be like, why would you have taken the ring? And you'd be like, uh, Sam kind of- Forgot about the ring. <laughs> So why did the orcs take it? It's like, oh, the orcs just think it's a random ring. You know, if Ryan Johnson directed this movie, he would have forgot about the ring, and then one of the orcs would have taken it, become the new Dark Lord, everyone would have lost. Yeah, and then, like, the end would be like, the ring will return in my trilogy coming 2025. <laughs> Still archers on the wall shooting them. I don't know why. I don't know why they have any strategy. I've heard the best way to do it is to surrender. Oh, Darth Maul orc. <laughs> oh, here we go. Was this part cut from the theatrical version? Yeah. yeah, it was. And the confusion was like, where did Gandalf's staff go? This sword does catch on fire in the book, too, though. That's cool. Yeah, I was just like, how the fuck did he do that? He shouldn't be able to. Kind of dumb. I like that he lifted his sword as if to strike him, just like, he's really far away. <laughs> he was gonna throw it. <laughs> oh god, best part of the movie. And then he's like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. He gets off the horse. <laughs> Can I just go back home? Not that many. It's funny because you compare it to the fucking Golden Company in Game of Thrones. The 20,000 strong. Turned into 500. <laughs> Imagine all of them getting sliced off when he was doing this. <laughs> and everyone's like, dude, why did you do that? I love how that one guy just seems so fucking eager to kill the orcs. <laughs> Oh, I love that. They're just fucking slabbing through them. Is that oil he just poured on his face? Yep. Yeah. Fucking hell, yeah. He would be dead so He's quickly. Been, I've been collecting my cum. Oh, jeez. <laughs> For years. Very flammable cum. <laughs> I've been drinking alcohol. <laughs> like, sorry, are you sure? <laughs> Look how Fuck slowly you. they're coming towards him. Like, are we really doing this? <laughs> The wizard said stay this madness. <laughs> and yet he continues to do the madness. How many times am I gonna have to hit you with a stick today? <laughs> <laughs> the fucker was soaked in oil. <laughs> I really want to kill my son. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> oh, Shadowfax was totally on board with that one. He's like, I'll show you how it's done. Now time for a cross-country run. <laughs> <laughs> Man, those horses must have felt so good being against people, and then they were like, oh. I like that they form up before charging again. Yeah, and I love this shot as well. And then they just get fucking decimated. Yeah, this, this, this is so unfit. <laughs> yeah, a rated R version of this scene would be gory as shit. Yeah, Gabling would fucking fire an arrow into the elephant bulls. <laughs> It'd be like, Bwah! 
Uh, short spears OP. We have to nerf that in the next patch. Look at that, he took out two of them. That still only counts as one. It's like, what the fuck, Daryl? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they give up on this and bring up Grodd. To <laughs> take him up through all the <laughs> fucking minister. <laughs> that is probably the goriest thing in the entire three films. Oh, which is so cool. I love all of this. When it zooms down on his chained mace, dude. <laughs> that is such a fucking <laughs> unit of a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they got someone really strong to lift it, and even he was, like, having a really hard time trying to swing that fucking thing around. Imagine, dude. Yeah. That's why he's, like, scary to even fight. Doesn't matter what weapons he has, he's just like, eh. <laughs> Uh, just go away. Like when he stands up out of the corpse of the fell beast, it's like, oh Jesus, his skull hat is just <laughs> too funny. <laughs> You're like, who is that? He's like, I don't know. I am no man. SJW moments in Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. <laughs> I might actually have to kill him if he makes a video like that. That would have happened if this was released today. For a long time, I thought he was saying 50, 60, and I was like, did you really just count 10? <laughs> you don't know, that was a mithril fire arrow. It went through 10 people at once. <laughs> well, now they're evenly matched. They both have a useless arm. See, that's the kind of satisfying death we want to see. What are you talking about? I would just want, like, some girl to come flying in from the background. No. To, like, <laughs> he literally asked what the undead even are an episode before that. <laughs> Remember, we're watching these movies because of that show. That's literally the motivation here. <laughs> you know, as ridiculous as this is, it isn't half as ridiculous as what he does in The Hobbit. You know, for how long it's been riding as well, there's no way he would have ended up where Ghibli is. That's a great line, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I wonder how many Gondorians they accidentally killed. <laughs> The orcs put on the Gondorian armor like, ah, I'm a guy, I'm a human. <laughs> Dude, you fucking killed the Witch King? <laughs> so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was so fucking tight. <laughs> like, I'm probably gonna die. No one's gonna believe you. Just saying. I'm gonna tell him that fucking Mary did it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just really jealous that she got the kill and he doesn't want to live anymore because of it. In 2007, a Navy SEAL called Mike Day was shot 27 times by four Al-Qaeda gunmen and hit by grenade shrapnel. He managed to kill all four gunmen and walk out to the extraction point and he's currently living with his wife and daughters. How the fuck did you get shot 27 <laughs> <Jesus> times? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> did he have plot armor? <laughs> <laughs> he has something very important he has to do in the future. <laughs> At their funeral, Aragorn's like, she made greats. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all just like sniggering. <laughs> well, that's awkward. Ib is like crying his eyes out, Gandalf's just smiling. He's like, well, we won. <laughs> Dude, did I stab the Witch King or is that a bad trip? <laughs> Aragorn's like, I doubt you killed the Witch King. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> she wanted Aragorn, instead she gets, like, second place Aragorn. No, Faramir's awesome. Mm. Not even second place Aragorn, like, seventh or eighth place I was gonna say, he Aragorn. lost Osgiliath twice, Rags, come on. Yeah, with him and his twelve dudes lost <laughs> Osgiliath. Oh yeah, you're right, he lost it three times. I like that Gandalf was just like, alright, I'm gonna go back inside, and then <laughs> just left Pippin to find Merry for himself. Dude, I killed the Witch King. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I got assist points for the Witch King. Is fucking, I leveled up like four times from that alone. Dude, Eowyn stole my kill. I totally had it. Fucking bitch. Apparently, I can't kill him because I'm a man. But he's not. He's a hobbit. He could have killed him. He's a hobbitman. Him. He's a hobbitman. Oh man, they had a boulder collection. Oh <laughs> this is a certain mundane person. It's wicked. just. <laughs> <laughs> he's been waiting for this day. <laughs> they all laughed at me when I tried to use my rock. Now they'll see. Oh, hell of a party last night. I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's a suicide packed orc hive. <laughs> a Balrog of Morgoth. <laughs> Smallest fucking Balrog in the world. <laughs> yeah, they cut that and the mouth of Sauron from uh, the theatrical. It sucks that they cut the mouth of Sauron. Such a cool fucking character. I like the Aragorn just fucking kills him. Yeah, yeah, it's me, the fat one. Yeah. <laughs> Took the ring. 
You know what? You could have just let him believe that and be like, okay, you go home, Frodo. I'll do the right. You're really unreliable right now. I, I always did like, I mean, it, it's totally in character, but I always did like that Frodo, like, snatches it away. It's like, he fucking, he made a good decision doing this, mate. You would have preferred this than not this. Man, Sam's resilient. So I was like, yeah, here it is, yeah, the ring. In the top trumps, in he the had the highest resilience out of all the characters. Like, yeah. Right now, he's just like, God, Frodo is a weirdo. Sauron will suspect a trap. He will not take the bait. Well, I think he will. What is your evidence for leading you to that conclusion? Yeah, I want to see I want to see how that scene went on. Gettle's like, no, no, you just said that he did, like, what's... It's just the damp of the first spring rain. Aren't you that guy that lost Eskelia three times? <laughs> he's a <like>, gun, damn it! <laughs> Like, do you know how fucking hard it is to hold a skillion with 12 dudes? Have you tried? Have you tried? Yeah, you He's like, what, what, what have you done? And she's like, I killed the Witch King. It's like, God damn it. It's like, man, I wish I, I, I wish my job was that easy. Uh, well, we know which one's going to be wearing the penis in this relationship. The question is, which one will be out of these two? They're moving off. It's a co-dominant relationship. Sometimes Frodo likes to top, sometimes he lets Sam do it to build up his confidence. <laughs> I love that fool. Yeah. There's an edit of that where it's just it's just Frodo dancing for like all the movies. <laughs> I know there's an edit of the amount of times Frodo falls across the three movies as well. There's one edit with him fighting Smeagol inside Mount Doom where it goes to Frodo. He's like trying to get the ring from Smeagol and it looks like Frodo's like fucking him. And then it goes back to Sam, and he's, like, crying over it. <laughs> they killed my mouth. Kill my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Had the horse both gone. Oh, the, the horse for the mouth of Sauron was just gone? Dissipated along with his body. What's interesting is that might have been because the theatrical vision didn't have him, and so he was airbrushed out. So that makes yeah, sense. I think that... I think that's the reason why. In which case, don't airbrush it out for this version. Then again, they wouldn't have walked up to the gate, would they? I don't fucking know. You know, the blood on a sword doesn't make sense in the theatrical cut. <laughs> <laughs> it's been there for a while. <laughs> he, he just forgot to clean his blade. I'm so glad I never watched the theatrical cuts. I mean, they're still better than the majority of movies. <laughs> yeah, but compared to this... I need to see the cinema. Also... That horse uh, rearing up on its hind legs was not scripted. Just did that. It knew what movie it was Apollo. Hey, that looked good for the big screen. The horse was like, are we doing Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings is like, oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, Lord of the Rings, thank God. What about side by side with a friend? I could do that. Seen that so many times thanks to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Gimli. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> That's the immediate thing I started thinking of, too. There's one edit where the rest of the armies don't follow Aragorn and they just watch him charge the orcs by himself. <laughs> Sam's like, I can't carry you too. <laughs> How much Frodo stops moving here and Sam's like, you could move the whole time. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> nice Ow. shot. I love how much is happening here. Oh yeah, this is the... Climax of the movie now. Everyone matters. You got that dramatic music going on. Like, if anything gets fucked up, then everyone loses. You don't need your staff. The magic was inside of you all along. <laughs> this place is lit. I'm having second thoughts, Sam. <laughs> Dude, if you were the ring right now, you'd be like, <laughs> You really want to put me on, put me on, put me on. <laughs> the ring is mine. Do you think Sam told people about this part of the story? <laughs> when Frodo lost his mind and put the ring on and almost ruined everything. When Frodo tells it, he's like, Yeah, I, I went to throw it in, then Gollum jumped on me, bit my finger off. And I'm like, why did they bite your finger off? He's like, uh, he just <laughs> sort of did. And Sam's just like glaring at him from across the room like, That's not what happened, did you know it? <laughs> like, literally, Gollum saves the fucking day. That's the funniest looking shot ever. But there's really no way to make it not look funny. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like he hasn't finished with the CGI yet. <laughs> but he's gotta be invisible, so you gotta wonder, like, is there even a good way yeah. to do that? I'm kinda happy Gollum got to hold the ring. No, fuck that guy. Uh, no, that poor guy's been after that ring this whole trilogy. No, no, don't be an enabler, Muller. <laughs> no, we're not enabling him. We're allowing him to hold it, and then we're gonna you're, got, you're happy he got his fix, because you're fucked up. 
No, <laughs> he needed to Frodo be weaned off it. Fingers. Cold turkey isn't necessarily the best way to do it. I think Sam could have kept that part in because he's like, oh yeah, and then Frodo was just like, oh. Yeah, Frodo's like, I heroically threw Gollum off with the ring. Sam's was like, eh, you, you, you tried to get it back, really. You know, in the animated version of the film, at the end of the movie, there's some dude who like sings a song and he's like, I call this one Frodo of the Nine Fingers. And he's singing it to Frodo and it's like, dude, I don't think he'd like that. It's not a title like, I Maybe don't remind him of the fact that he now only has a hand and a half. I remember being in the cinema and be like, what? It's on like some random lava stuff. No, not the stank hand. Oh, uh, not the fucked up one. It's all bloody and shit. <laughs> the how you get AIDS. If Ryan Johnson directed this, he would have let you. He not only that, Sam would have pushed him off. We'd have to all discuss it's why. Oh shit! My cruelty, malice, and also dominate our life. Ah! Lucky I made that backup ring. And they're like, what? <laughs> See, what we just saw there was actually Sauron teleporting out to a different universe. <laughs> wow, this place got even more inhospitable. <laughs> Makes you wonder if, like, the whole fellowship managed to get there, would they all just sit on that rock and be like, so how's it going, guys? <laughs> Sam trying to pretend like he's straight here. <laughs> I think it's very good acting. We see through the ruse, though, Sam. It's okay. We're more progressive nowadays. You can admit it. Marry me now, Sam. Appreciate <laughs> Get up as they, as they pitch. He's like, you did throw it in, right? I'm <laughs> yeah, assuming all of this. Just to be clear. <laughs> There's 20 minutes left of this movie, and so many people are like, the ending's six hours long. Well, see, they're the kind of people that would say, and now with credits. And then they're like, oh, I guess we'll have one more ending. And I'm sitting here like, dude, we got loads to do yet. We gotta see where all of them go. Gotta like, see every, like when we had fucking Billy the Fridge and Ben on, and Billy was like, yeah, if you like a six hour ending, it's like, that is the most invalid criticism I've heard from entirely too many retarded people. And both. And when you we can look down and see the timeline where the little ball is right now. And you're like, man, we ju we're just now at like the end. Yeah, the end is like and less than half of the introduction. <laughs> I guess a four hour movie in 20 20 minutes are the resolution. Not to mention, this is the third movie in a trilogy. Altogether, it's almost 12 hours long. It deserves this 20 minute ending. I think it's a good sign though that the criticism is the ending's a bit long it's like uh-huh anything else <laughs> i mean it's actually sh like significantly shorter than it was in the book like infinitely yeah. shorter oh we still gotta go free the shire free the shire uh Kendall's laughing because he knows about it <laughs> he's, he's like, like oh you think you're done do you <laughs> <laughs> he's in the last hobbits no, in the oh no <laughs> That interpretation that he just knows that all the other <laughs> hobbits are dead. <laughs> it is kind of crazy. It's like, fuck, we haven't seen each other in ages. I like that Frodo says everyone's name except for Legolas. Like, he's like, I forgot who you were. <laughs> <laughs> or he, what was the name of the elf that died at um, Helm's Deep? Be imagine he said that when Legolas came in. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh. <laughs> And he's like, no, I'm Legolas. Like, oh, where's Haldir? And he's like, he's dead. And Frodo, like, cries for ages. <laughs> like, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. I want to see this version of the movie. It opens with the weed, and it has all these different alternate scenes. <laughs> <laughs> and so the free peoples of Middle-earth are once again allowed to smoke at the <laughs> <laughs> Look, they've, they've got the, they've got the herb on their shields. The they got the herb, like, uh, hanging from the walls. <laughs> one big weed leaf on that crowd. That's how they look in Middle Earth. <laughs> That'd be fucking great if that so was a symbolizes. weed leaf. <laughs> Sauron was just the Who representation else? of the establishment trying to keep us from our weed. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, he likes to sing sometimes. It's really awkward. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes he just walks around Minas Tirith singing, and they're like, "What are you? What's he saying? He can't, why doesn't he ever speak English?" He's just and he's just reeling off loads of swear words in the actual language. He's <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Paul dear? <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that everyone forgets who Legolas <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, because the other interpretation is like, when he enters the room and Frodo goes, Oh my god! Yes! You made it! <laughs> I want to see this version of the movie where everyone just forgets Legolas and thinks it's healthier. <laughs>
It's a shame that Legolas died at Helm's Deep. He fought bravely. <laughs> I think it is here. <laughs> like Aragorn sees him die and he looks at Legolas. He's like, you're held here now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he, just doesn't, he just doesn't want to accept that he's dead, so he recreates a new Haldir in his mind. <laughs> Eowyn's just like an actual racist, and she sees this shit, and she's yeah. like, fucking elves. Frodo's like, where's Haldir? <laughs> <laughs> he's just so sad. <laughs> if only Haldir were alive to see <laughs> Like, remember Rivendell? Remember Moria? Weathertop? Bree? That was like Haldir. fucking 13 fucking hours ago. <laughs> God damn. I realize this one trilogy is almost as long as every Star Wars movie combined. It's like two EFAP podcasts. Lord of the Rings has to up its game. On the set for this, fucking Vigo Mortensen kissed pa uh, Pippin just like randomly. Why not? Yeah, wouldn't you? No, I don't like little people. What? Ooh. Wow. I can't believe it. See, when we watched Wish Upon, <laughs> this began. <laughs> make fun of the statues, mm. and now I, I see that where it's finally. Oh Jesus. my God! Look, it's a little devil person. Thank you for saying devil person instead of midget. <laughs> <laughs> no, little devil. See, see, see. Little this is what I'm talking about. You can't you call them little devils. Oh, shut the fuck up, Rags. You thanked me for not calling them midgets. I was very now, politically was correct back worked. then. Little back devils then. Is a step up for midgets. <laughs> Rag, stop jerking off. No, I was wiping some. Uh huh. Okay. I really was. You just pulled up a picture of Haldir, didn't you? Haldir pulled me up. <laughs> Bilbo sees this. He's like, oh, yeah, because just anyone could write a book, I guess. There's still some left at the end for Sam. Do you think he just writes a bunch of fan fictions at the end where he's like he's... fucking Frodo and Haldir's still alive? <laughs> 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 gonna write like the addendum where he's like few corrections few things that were wrong <laughs> so frodo said <laughs> all this. frodo called me fat a lot imagine if frodo's vision out of respect for the fact that Gollum died he treats him as like a hero in the storyline that sam was like the annoying one who got in the way <laughs> His children read it, and they're like, Dad, why were you such a dickhead during this whole journey? Any chance of seeing that old ring of mine again? I'm afraid I lost it. Fucking piece of shit. Hey, I can imagine being like, really, <laughs> dude? Really now? Okay. <laughs> Gandalf, you hear about this? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he's leaving Middle-earth because he can't get over the death of Haldir? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Haldir- oh, never mind. <laughs> Just, just every elf male is Haldir. <laughs> he calls Galadriel Haldir. <laughs> so they just go back to Elftopia where they came from? Planning on euthanizing him. <laughs> <laughs> they just throw him overboard once they're out of sight. You just time, Frodo. I'm sure Frodo didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> what do you mean? He's like, he was like you gotta die too. And he's like, what? He's just like, I, I don't want to go. I'm gonna I stay haven't finished here. writing my book, Gand dude. <laughs> Gandalf comes and like grabs his shirt and like drags him away. He's screaming for everyone else to come. To save Help! <laughs> Leave out the part where I didn't drop the ring immediately. Tell the life and story of Haldir. Sam, you carried me up the mountain to save the world and cast the ring into Mount Doom. Pippin, a valiant soldier who trained with Boromir and stabbed the Witch King. And That's Pippin, scary. you smoked so much weed. <laughs> <laughs> you just said Pippin twice. <laughs> also, I've been smoking <laughs> with so much weed. Fucking, he forgot which one was Mary and just <laughs> forgot that Mary existed altogether. <laughs> he turns to Mary. Aldia, you've done amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell you. Bilbo and I have to repopulate the new world. <laughs> <laughs> With the Royal Hobbit kind. Then Pippin reveals that he's going to. Then Mary reveals that he's going to. And Sam's like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is going to be an awkward boat ride. Other people start arriving to say to Sam that they're going to. <laughs> Even his family leaves and it's just him. This is this big line of like everyone, even orcs, are like, sorry, Sam. <laughs> it's time for us to go. Well, you know, the orcs were elves once. Man, that's a town great, isn't it? <laughs> they used to be Haldir, and then they were nothing. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've watched this ending and laughed. My dear Sam. <laughs> that was his kid saying that. <laughs> My dear Sam. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where are all your friends, honey? 
Like, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> All I have left is you and Eldir. <laughs> and me, Sam. He's like, that's really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> well... Movie should have ended <sighs> saying, in loving memory of Haldir. <laughs> in loving memory of good writing. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never see it again. <laughs>